I don't think Abby's generation sees me at all because, you know, when I'm walking along the streets in Camden on my way to Waitrose, I'm quite often bumped into, you know, not aggressively, because I'm invisible. And I know why. Because I know for the women I'm not a sexual object. I might as well be a, you know, a eunuch. And for the men, I represent no threat. You know, I couldn't face up and, you know, they, they don't see me as, as a combatant, you know, which men very often do. And so you get this strange feeling of being a ghost. You know, it's, it's very, well, because very... because the odd. women don't fancy you and the men don't want to fight you. That's a very, very, <laughs> very direct way of putting it. I mean, I may be, I may be overstating it. Perhaps, the, perhaps I am an object of great sexual... I'm not. Um, that's one of the things you have to come to terms with. And, of course, you, your vanity is one of the hardest things to pull down. But you get that feeling of being on the edge of things. That gives you a privilege as well, because you have... You're outside the whale, as Orwell would say, and you can see things clearly, but on the other hand, there's that, that sense of not belonging. Most of my friends are dead. Most of the friends I ever had were dead. Women I loved, two of whom I was engaged to at one time, are dead. You know, so you feel like you're walking through you know, sort of a graveyard of your own past, and yet at the same time, it's very clear. It's good to be alive. You know, I don't despair, I enjoy being me. I see young people and I envy them, quite frankly. You know, they've got so much life ahead of them. They don't even know they're, they're young. I know I'm old, 